So since Steel City let it be known that they now have a haymaker system and that the counter punching system has been updated, big punches are going to be a big thing when it comes to fighting in ESBC. So with all that being said, here are five fighters that I hope to use or look forward to using in Esports Boxing Club when it drops. Right out the gate, I'm gonna go ahead and start big with my man Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. Like, you can't really talk about big punchers and, and not bring up Deontay Wilder at this point. Like, the man has a for real argument as possibly being the biggest puncher that we've ever seen in the sport in history. And there are really some some names that are out there. A lot of them I'm going to name here, but you can't you can't get around big punches. And, and not talk about Deontay Wilder. The man has talked about that he surprises himself with the amount of power that he carries. I, I know when he was asked once what was the most devastating knockout that he had, he talked about when he knocked out Arthur Spilka. And he, and he was quoted by saying, I really think that I killed Spilka. When you got so much power that you felt as though the impact killed a man, how, how do you not talk about someone like that? And with this current system and the, and the way that things are developing with Esports Boxing Club, I really hope that they can get Deontay Wilder into the game. I think it would be great for the game itself. I think I, there are a lot of fans out there, love him, I hate him. Everybody's going to want to use him because they know how devastating his punch is. They know that literally one hit can turn an entire fight around. We saw what happened against Tyson Fury. The man can erase any mistake he makes with one single punch. He says it himself, you have to be good for 12 rounds. You have to be good for 36 minutes. I only gotta be good for a split second, baby. So look, I would really like to have Deontay Wilder in Esports Boxing Club. Next up, I'm gonna go with my man, Edgar Berlanga. So 17 and 0, 16 KOs. All 16 of those KOs came in the first round. The man was on a serious, streak all right I, i'll i'll put it out there at 168 pounds dude there's a lot of people who need to like they need to be careful of this young hungry lion this dude really wants and and literally wants it with everybody he's been out there talking he you hear his name for a while there it was it was in conjunction with canelo alvarez we know now that canelo is actually in the game so this would be one of those things where we could take a person like edgar berlanga and put him up against Canelo in, in the virtual ring, you know? Like, that's that's the greatness of Esports Boxing Club right now, man. Being able to do some of these fantasy fights or, you know, just the fights that we want to see that we really can't get um, in, in the real boxing world, we can, we can make those things happen. Edgar Belanga, though, is a huge puncher. We all know that. He, he just his last fight, he didn't knock the guy out, but I think he dropped him four times <laughs> during the fight. You know, this kid can really punch he's young he's massive for 168 pounds he really doesn't look like a 168 pounder he's a big dude but again another huge puncher who i will really enjoy using in esports boxing club next up mike tyson like do i even really need to make a case for mike tyson as a as a as a huge puncher or somebody that we really need in esports boxing club period we saw in the interview recently that Ty Grisham said that there's probably about an 80-85% chance that Mike Tyson can make it into the game, which would mean that they've either talked to him already or are currently in negotiations with Mike to get him in the game. All right. Look, Mike brings a lot to this game. The head movement, the speed with his hands, the punching power. Dude, he was he, he had it all other, other than height and, and general size. I mean, the, the guy was an absolute monster. People actively dodged Mike Tyson. George Foreman has gone on record of saying that he did not want to fight Mike because he thought Mike was crazy. Like, dude, I, 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 I would really love to get Mike Tyson in this game. I really hope that they score Mike Tyson to get him in. That would be another huge announcement. Man, what would... What would the fighter announcement be like when they when they tell us that we got Mike Tyson in the game? That would be absolutely huge, man, and great content. It's a great selling point for the game. Like I said, Mike Tyson is a pure animal. 
how many people can you get that really can be better than Iron Mike at this point? So again, another guy, please get Iron Mike Tyson in eSports Boxing Club. All right, now I'm gonna take y'all back a little bit to about, we'll say the late 1960s with my man Ernie Shavers, all right? Look, Ernie Shavers is talked about as being possibly, again, just like all the names on this list outside of Edgar, but Ernie Shavers is talked about as being one of the biggest punchers in boxing history, all right? The man has, I, I believe, a record of, of about 68 knockouts, and I think 46 of those came in the first like three rounds. He, he was an amazing, an amazing puncher. And a lot of people described it as just this really heavy handed, really thudding punch. Ernie Shavers was a monster and I and I he needs to be added to this game as a legend. A hundred percent. I think in in any legends category, Ernie Shavers is probably going to be he's going to have the highest punch rating out of all of them. He is an absolute beast and just for the history of it if nothing else steel city get my man ernie shavers added to the esbc roster please last but absolutely not least for me personally my man julian jackson again another one of those guys who re was regarded as possibly the biggest puncher that we've ever seen pound for pound this guy had i believe 55 wins over i think somewhere between 46 and 49 of those all came by ko the, the, the dude would come in the ring and it seemed like every person he fought it was like he hated you and and if he didn't personally hate you it was like he'd say something that would make him want to hate you that way he can come in and hit you like he hates you right like dude the, the 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 people on this list hands that if you get hit you probably they, they could easily arrest you for murder like these guys all hit extremely hard all right julian jackson is no exception the man has an extremely extremely hard punch and when it came to Julian Jackson and the people that he knocked out, it was the way that they looked when he knocked them out. He's stiffened some guys up pretty bad. <laughs> like So again, Steel City, can you get my man Julian Jackson added to the Esports Boxing Club roster? So this has been my list of some of the big punches that I would really love to use in Esports Boxing Club once it finally drops. So y'all, you guys let me know. I know there was probably a couple names that I could have thrown out there. Uh, who would you guys, big punchers, who would be your big punchers that you would like to use in Esports Boxing Club when it drops? Let me know down in the comments. Again, I always thank y'all for coming back to the Coach's Corner and I will catch y'all on the next one. Look, please stay tuned. I hope you guys really enjoyed the Jamel Herring um, interview that I did. If you haven't seen it, please go check that out, man. He's a real good dude. We had a real great conversation. A lot of little tidbits uh, uh, in there. And I do have another fighter uh, interview lined up already. So stay tuned. All right. Peace out.